Welcome to another useful video. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing why the 2010 through 2016 W212 E-Class is one of the best Mercedes-Benz vehicles ever made. To prove our point, we have an absolutely stunning Dolomite Brown over chestnut leather E350 4MATIC to look over and review. Before we discuss the W212 E-Class in detail further, let's talk about its predecessors. Namely, the W210 chassis built from 96 through 2002, and the W211 chassis built from 2003 to 2009. Both of the previous generations were built with certain cost-cutting measures in mind that hindered the E-Class's reliability and overall reputation for excellence. With the W212 E-Class, Mercedes knew that it needed to reinvent the E-Class make it more luxurious, safer, and give it the maximum amount of technology that was available at the time. They also had a renewed interest in making the W212 as reliable as possible, fitting it with the highest quality materials and components available. This particular E-Class is the facelifted version, which was available from 2014 through 2016 in the United States. At the time of its release, it was the most expensive mid-cycle refresh ever, costing Mercedes-Benz a cool 1 billion euros. Some might say that it's hard to decipher what that 1 billion euros went to. However, the styling is quite different from the pre-facelift models which were offered from 2010 through 2013. A strong styling point on the pre-facelift model was the Ponton rear-style fenders that gave a nod to the 1950s Mercedes sedans. On the facelift model, Mercedes did away with the Ponton rear fender and instead incorporated a door and rear fender design that had two strong lines and a scallop in the middle. This was done to ensure that the vehicle looked a little bit more slimmer and svelte and Along with the sport package, you got unique side skirts, sport front and rear bumpers, alloy wheels, perforated front brakes, and for the first time ever, the grille had the star inlaid and there was no standing hood star on the hood. The overall effect of the sport package is my favorite on the regular W212 sedan because I feel like it's a nice mix of luxury and sport. The 18-inch double-spoke alloy wheels here also do a nice job of rounding out the details. The Sport Package model also has dual-tipped exhaust built into the rear diffuser of the bumper, whereas the luxury model does not have any visible exhaust tips at all. Pre-facelift models were available with an optional bi-xenon system for the headlights. The facelift model had static LED headlights as a standard option, and there was an available intelligent light system with full LED capability. It was a very nice upgrade and it incorporated a dual blade LED DRL light. One reason why the W212 E-Class is one of the best Mercedes-Benz vehicles ever produced comes down to its attention to detail and renewed commitment to reliability. This is evident from the moment that you look at it. The paint has a high luster and sheen, the body panel gaps are very small, and the sheet metal feels very thick and substantial. Everything you touch feels very solid. Mercedes' restrained styling ethos, while admittingly not for everyone, is present here. However, there are certainly lots of classy touches. Take for example the line running down the front fender to the rear fender. It's pretty elegant. There was also a lot of technology on offer, from Distronic Plus Autonomous Cruise Control to Active Parking Assist, Active Blind Spot Assist, Active Lane Keeping Assist, and a Autonomous Brake Intervention with Warnings for Pedestrians. Additionally, the 360 degree camera package also gave you a nice bird's eye view of what was going on outside of the vehicle. In order to have the active parking assist work correctly, the sides of the bumpers have radar sensors in them that can determine if a parking spot is the correct size to be able to accommodate the W212. 
Note that this feature will give six sensors on the front bumper and six sensors on the rear bumper. The rest of the sensors are for the parking package, which gives you a LED indicated parking distance guidance inside of the vehicle. The sport front bumper shown here does have some aggressive air intake ducts, as well as a polished front lip spoiler, which I believe looks pretty great on the vehicle. When you combine that with the full LED headlights and the sport style grille, I think the look is pretty cohesive for a modern vehicle. As part of the 360 degree camera package, the rear camera, front camera directly underneath the Mercedes-Benz logo and the front grille, and the side view mirrors all have a camera that helps to aid the 360 degree system in providing a clear and crisp picture of what's going on around the vehicle. The 360 degree view from inside the vehicle really helps make sure that you don't hit any barriers while you're parking and that you don't curb your wheels. The optional keyless go system with the hands-free access allows you to open up the trunk by just swiping your foot underneath the rear bumper. Once the trunk does open, you'll notice that it does have buttons to either close the trunk or close and lock the trunk. The magic box, which is an option, is a really useful piece of equipment that can be used to handle anything that's loose or unwieldy in the trunk. Essentially, you can press down on the Magic Box cargo area and it fills up to a pretty large storage area where you can put anything that's loose or has a risk of rolling away. Additionally, once you're done, it's really easy to retract the unit with the chrome button and then you can simply slide it back into place and it's a really nice and efficient way of storing things in the trunk. The fold down rear seats in the W212 is a must have option as it greatly increases the versatility of the trunk area and what you can carry with the sedan. The hinges for the rear trunk have a nice protective plastic cover on them and they're finished off very well so that everything looks neat and tidy and it won't scratch or damage any of your things that you put in the trunk. As has been the case with Mercedes-Benz vehicles for a very long time, there is a first aid kit in the W212. On this particular vehicle, it's located in the right side of the trunk area, and once you remove that cover, you can see that there's a first aid kit behind there. There's also a really handy 12 volt outlet in the trunk, and Overall space back there is pretty decent. In this particular vehicle, the left hand side doesn't really have much there. Thankfully, this 212 has an actual spare tire instead of a fix a flat kit. It's also nice that Mercedes has a really neat and clean way of organizing all the tools and equipment that you would need to change out a spare tire. The auxiliary battery in the facelift 212 is located in the right side of the trunk. This battery works with the ecosystem to enable the start-stop functionality of the engine when you come to a complete stop. This E350 is equipped with the AMG style split 5 spoke wheels on 245-45 R18 size tires. The factory tire is the Continental Conti Pro Contact and the front brakes do say Mercedes-Benz on the floating caliper and they do have perforated disc rotors. Looking at the construction all the way from the windshield to the sides of the roof molding, we can see that it's color coded and it has indents to allow you to put a carrier or rack system on the vehicle. Overall, the way Mercedes has implemented the system is very stylish and clean as it keeps the minimal look and classiness of the vehicle intact. The W212 models with the upgraded assistance package also have the electronics located right in the bulkhead of the front windshield area. The wipers also work pretty decently, although they have been known to squeak and squeal sometimes during their operation. Real Mercedes-Benz wiper blades will have the Mercedes-Benz logo on the very edge of the wiper blade. The interior of the W212 generation is reminiscent of a classic Mercedes-Benz. 
in a way that it makes you feel like the interior is well screwed together and it'll still look really nice in 20 years time. One thing to note is that the burl walnut trim shown here on this vehicle has been known to fade on certain Mercedes cars and trucks. The reason for this is the fact that the lacquer doesn't have enough UV protectant in it. And therefore, over time, the burl walnut wood actually starts to fade and it turns a really light, muddy brown color. In this vehicle, the burl walnut wood still looks exceptionally nice as it's been garaged its whole life and taken care of. As you can see, the grain in the plastics has a really nice feel about it and it really does look like the classic Mercedes switch gear that you would see on their high-end vehicles back in the day. This vehicle is equipped with the Distronic Cruise Control and this knob here is the actuator knob that allows you to set the distance of the car in front of you. The Distronic Plus system is really a joy to use and makes driving on the freeway a very pleasant experience. If you can find a W212 equipped with the Distronic Plus, it's highly recommended that you go for that. As you can tell, the top part of the dash has a really nice look to it and the screen is incorporated into the dashboard and doesn't have that aftermarket, somewhat tacky, bolted on tablet look to it. Additionally, you can tell that everything has very nice tolerances. There isn't a lot of unsightly gaps or anything that's exposed or doesn't look correct within the vehicle. It really does give you a sense of solidity and luxury, but it's not the most out there in your face design, which is a good thing in my book because you want something that's going to look good 5, 10, 20 years from now and not something that's super gimmicky. However, one questionable styling element might just be the center vents that are shaped in the same design as the front grille of the vehicle. Additionally, they incorporate an analog center clock to make the vehicle seem a little bit more high class. While the majority of the W212 models sold in the United States will have the MB text material for the upholstery or what's called a synthetic leather material, this vehicle has the upgraded real leather interior and one telltale sign to let you know that you have the upgraded leather interior is the vertical pleats in the middle of the seats. Additionally, the seats here are heated and active ventilated and so they'll have the preparations for that option. To allow you to easily navigate the command system, there's a knob in the center console as well as some physical buttons for some shortcuts. The knob has an aluminum metal look to it and you can twist it, push it up and down, left and right, and diagonally. Note that this vehicle also has the massaging seat option which is shown on the bottom right area of the quadrant. Taking a deeper dive into the 360 degree camera system and command in general, you can see that the different camera views for the 360 degree camera can really help you in finding a correct parking spot and making sure you don't curb your wheels or your front and rear bumpers. Additionally, the other areas within the command system are a little bit clumsy to use and with the command system you really have to get a certain amount of familiarity with the system before it becomes very second nature to use. It's not the most user-friendly system, but it's not bad. When stationary, it does allow you to play back a DVD video. And if you go into the systems menu, you can get a bigger image of the center clock. And then you can also scroll to get other pertinent vehicle information like the miles per gallon, the massaging and active seat settings, and even access the virtual user's manual and owner's manual built into the command system. Working in conjunction with the 7 inch screen in the center of the dashboard is another screen that's a multimedia screen in the middle of the gauge cluster. For the facelift model, the gauge cluster was changed to have three pods and in the middle pod is a color screen that will give you access to all of the different pertinent settings and information that you would need to know during your drive. The gauge cluster has gauges that have a white on black typeface and it looks really nice, it's easy to read, and you can get a lot of information with a quick glance. 
The center of the dashboard also has other buttons, such as those for the heated seats and the active ventilated seat feature. Note that the active ventilated seats take the inside air and pump it through the seats. They don't have an air conditioning duct that pumps that air through the seats. You also have the buttons for the rear headrests and the rear sunshade. The eco button, which you can use to turn on and off the start stop of the engine when you're stationary and the parking sensor button to turn that on and off as well. The overall Germanic Teutonic look of the interior does give a nod to the previous days in the 1980s when Mercedes interiors were truly built to last. The mixture of leather, wood, and metal here create a truly special ambiance, something that you can only find in a Mercedes-Benz. The E350 is powered by a 302 horsepower, 3.5 liter direct fuel injected V6 engine that makes 273 pound feet of torque. Additionally, there was an E550 with a twin turbocharged V8 engine and an E250 Bluetech that had a four cylinder diesel engine with exceptional fuel mileage available. At the top range, there was an E63 AMG and an E63 S AMG for 2014. And those were the real powerhouse factory hot rod versions of the W212. One really cool feature of the W212 is the fact that the hood can be opened up almost 180 degrees. The really unique hinge on this when fully extended gives you a lot of room to work inside of the engine bay. This is especially useful if you're doing any maintenance or refilling any of the fluids that are located in the engine bay. Additionally, the engine bay is very well insulated and keeps a lot of the noise out from the inside of the vehicle. Looking at the build sheet for this E350 4Matic, you can see that the base price was $54,400. The Dolomite Brown paint added $720, while the Chestnut Brown and Black Leather combination added $1,620. Next, you have the standard Burl Walnut Wood Trim, followed by the premium package, which consisted of the command system with navigation and voice control, Sirius XM radio, and the power rear window shade. The car also sports all-season tires, 115-volt AC power outlet, or the home-style outlet that we have here in the United States, wheel locking bolts for $140, the comfort box that we saw earlier for $290, a three-spoke sports steering wheel with flat bottom for 260 the really awesome split folding rear seats that add a lot of utility for 440 and for $1,500 you have the lighting package which gives you adaptive high beam assist, full LED headlamps, and LEDs for the puddle lights underneath the rear view mirrors, and white LED style reverse lights in the rear tail lights. For the 2014 model year, the sports package was a no-cost option and it includes the different bumpers, wheels, perforated brakes, and other minor trim differences. This car also has the keyless go package with hands-free access for $990. This gives you that electronic trunk closer and opener and the keyless go system which allows you to keep the keys in the vehicle and simply depress a button to start or turn off the vehicle. The heated and active ventilated front seats are $450. The active multi-contour driver's seat with massage is $660. So it gives you four different settings for the massage as well as giving you an option to deflate or inflate the side bolsters on the seat based on the turning direction of the steering wheel. You do have the 18-inch AMG twin 5-spoke alloy wheels for $500. The superb Harman Kardon Logic 7 sound system that's included with the premium package. This being a California car has the SULEV package, which is the super ultra low emissions vehicle package. Now the parking assist package is $1,290. Now that gives you the parking package, Parktronic, and the 360 degree surround view camera. And finally, rounding out everything is the driver assistance package. This package costs $2,800 and it comes with all of the modern technology that helps drivers be as safe as possible on the road. These include Distronic Plus with pre-safe brake, active blind spot assist, 
Active Lane Keeping Assist, CMS Rear, BAS Plus with Cross Traffic Assist, Badging on the Dashboard, PreSafe Plus, and PreSafe Brake. So as you can see, this E354 Matic is essentially fully loaded. It's only missing two options for the 2014 model year, the panoramic sunroof and the heated steering wheel. So overall, why do I think that the W212 is one of the best Mercedes vehicles ever made? The answer is simple. It's such a well-rounded vehicle. It does everything that you want it to very well. It excels in all of the areas that you want a luxury car to excel in. It has a compliant ride. It has a lot of technology. It has a lot of safety. It's screwed together well. And it gives you all of the feelings that the classic Mercedes-Benz vehicles did. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Have a great day, and we'll see you for the next video.